Hey guys, uh, new snake. Gonna pull the packaging info stuff out real quick so you don't accidentally leak my address or anything like that. But, um, so I got this from uh, Darren Aguero on Facebook. He has just so many cool different snakes. And, um, well, I uh, wanted to get a new mail. There we go. I wanted to get a new male just because uh, Tiber hasn't been eating and has really been losing weight. Um, and no matter what scenting I've tried, he just won't eat. So this male's more or less a fail safe for my breeding project. So if um, Tiber doesn't manage to eat and gain weight again, this male is going to uh, fit in to his uh, breeding slot. And also, yeah, I am opening this with an arrow. Um, my room got uh, new floors, and uh, you know nothing's really in here other than my bed, so and some old things that I used to use for the geckos. So, um, and then my desk. So and my camera and everything's packed up. So that's why I'm using uh, my phone for this because I was going to use my camera, but nothing's set up and. Obviously, if I'm result like opening a box with an arrow, uh, that should lend credence to the fact that everything is not where it's normally at. But I'm super excited for this male. Um, he has a couple of hats I'm really excited to try to prove out. And then after filming this, I'm t totally going to let Darren know that um, this little dude made it. I actually bought this snake two weeks ago. But Darren wanted to hold on to it just because um, he prefers to have all of the snakes have 10 meals before he sends them out so that they're eating and he can prove it. And it is just, I appreciated the sentiment. So I was like, yeah, dude, you totally, if you want to wait to send it to me, be my guest. Like, I I have so much respect for breeders that do that because they're not just trying to get the quick sell or anything like that. And he was honest that he wanted to wait like a week. Also, sorry for like the weird angles. It's just really difficult opening a box with an arrow. And it's not a sharp arrow either. There we go. I almost dropped the phone. There we go. I'm so excited to see this snake. Uh, he looked phenomenal in pictures. And uh, man, I just can't wait to look at him in person. Because uh, I was told that he looks... Oh, that's a new type of cool pack I've seen. But um, this is a new, this this has some morphs I don't have, um, as well as toffee belly. And then the jeans are things that I can use as well. One of the hats. Oh my god. He's gorgeous. Darren said that uh, he is bright orange in person. And wow. The camera doesn't do him justice. He's a little stressed out noodle. Um, I'm going to get him set up. Here in a bit, I have to go outside to get my bins because everything is either in the garage or outside with most of my stuff. But, wow, beautiful. And as you can see, um, he's a male toffee conda and he's 66% exanthic. Sorry, I burped again. I don't know why I do that when I record, but um, it's a 66% het exanthic, so it's one out of every three babies is het exanthic, so it's not a guarantee, but it's a pos het, and I love getting pos hets because then I get to prove it out, and then he's also 50% uh, pos het albino, so half the clutch roughly has the gene um, that's carried, so... It's going to be kind of cool getting to test out the head albino as well as the um, head exanthic. Because if I hit the odds and Argenta proves out, um, I might have some pastel toxic condas. That would be amazing if I hit that in the first clutch, but I really doubt I will. So even just seeing some exanthics and some toffee bellies and no toxics, that is definitely enough for me. Because that just proves the gene out. And I'm just, I'm so excited so excited to have this little guy heal.
probably, I don't know about next year, uh, maybe the year after that, be ready for breeding. I mean, it all kind of depends on how fast he grows. If he's a fantastic eater, he might be ready next season, but I, I'm not going to push my luck too much. Jeez, the camera doesn't do him justice. And this is my first Conda morph, just so you guys know. If uh, this is your first video of mine to watch, I, I, I've been wanting the Conda gene, but uh, I just haven't had it. Um, just because of the snakes I bought in the past and other projects I'm currently working on and stuff like that. I just haven't had the chance to really get anything with Conda. So I thought, well, if I'm getting a new male, um, I'm getting it from a breeder I've never bought from. I'm totally going to get some genes that I don't really... Like, if I'm going to get one that has genes that I already have, like... The head exanthic and being a expressing toffee belly and a pos head um, albino, then uh, I might as well get something new that's intermixed with that to weave some new projects in. So I'm really excited to have conda because I just I really love super condas. So hopefully in a few years I'll be making some super conda snows exanthics. Coffee bellies, toxics, arctics, because um, I'm really going to be using a lot of uh, pastel and conda in most of my projects, just because they are one of the uh, few like dominant traits that are in hog noses that are really easy to see. And with uh, I just blanked with conda being a uh, Incomplete dominant, um, which means that you need two alleles to fully express it to the max, but um, full expression and half expression both still show off the gene essentially. So he only has one allele, which makes him just a conda, but then two alleles makes him a super conda. So um, he only has one, which is why he's a conda, but I'd say he's on the higher end of expression. Um, which is very nice because this is like a quality conda. This is what I always think of when I hear of conda. I've my first hog nose was a low, low, low expression conda. The only reason I know that now is now that I know what to look for a little bit better. I looked back through pictures of him, and he was without a doubt um, just a low expression conda, uh, just a normal, but still cool to find out. And so now that I have a decently, like a very, very nice looking conda to start off as a base i think the quality of the condas that i'll be able to produce are just going to go up from here so i'm just i'm ecstatic about that um and then he just he looks killer like i saw pictures of him and i just love the stripe that goes back from the head stamp he's beautiful and then i'm gonna pick him up real quick just so you guys can uh see Alright, so I haven't thought of a name yet for this one. Oh, that glorious conda belly. Oh, yes. That makes me so happy. Um, I love the conda belly just because it's the same with arctics. Um, which, it's funny, they're both, uh, they're both incomplete dominant traits that tend to have full black bellies. But because... He has conda in him and toffee. He has that toffee belly, full belly, glorious coloration on there. I'll have to do a comparison with him and Tiber at some point too. But he's very orange and very... Oh, this is probably one of the most beautiful snakes that I have for my hog noses. And I will say for a fact the camera is not doing him justice. He is a gorgeous... Maybe if I put him on... On some blue, that'll bring it out. It brings the yellow out more, but... Come here, little one. Oh, there's the belly. The toffee belly. No. <laughs> well, when I'm doing an actual video on it with my actual camera, I'll make sure to get that in, but... That's dorsal striping that's starting to happen around the end of his head stamp, and you can kind of see it going underneath the blotches. 
this this to me is like the perfect uh, the like the best toffee conda i could ask for i am so stoked with how he looks and i even loved how he looked in the pictures but seeing him in person i love 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 how he looks there's just something to with me and condas i just i love condas and i'm surprised it took me this long i've been keeping hog noses now for three years four years already <sighs> only yeah because percy's two three now Yeah, I think he's two and a half. Um, and before him, yeah, it would be, it'd be three years. Because I got Osiris a year before Percy and Andromeda. So, yeah. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. He has a little, he looks like he might have burrowed through his poop in transit. So I'll get him a, give him a little bath and stuff, but... Oh my god, and he's buffing out his cheeks. I'm trying not to shake as much. I'm just really excited. But the colors on him are just gorgeous. And I just wish that I could do the the like more ready tones to him justice, but it, they really just don't show up on camera very well. It, the same I have the same issue with uh Valentine and his reds that are starting to come in. God, this is going to be so fun to work with. He's such a beautiful snake. And the belly, too. I just can't get over that. I, I saw, like, a glimpse of it, and then I got a little bit of it on camera here. But, man, I just, I love conda bellies. I love arctic bellies. And then when I, you add lavender, toffee, uh, any of the hypos, albino, I don't know why. I just, I've always thought that it just add so much to those jeans bellies and undersides and then of course i think it's frosted too if you do frosted condas oh those are gorgeous and so i'm so happy to have a conda now so i can mix conda with my arctic projects i can mix conda with obviously toffee belly and to and yeah my toxics and i can weave the condas into my snows and all sorts of other different projects I have planned because I have I have a few now and a lot of it really really relied on me getting conda so that that way the apex like ending point for a lot of those projects would be to have all like certain color morphs with the uh, super conda and with the like sort of painted stripe going down his back underneath his pattern this is a definite good base for me to start with my condas i'm just so i'm so happy with how the snake looks and the camera really doesn't do justice taking pictures won't necessarily either but that, that's it that, another unboxing video kind of impromptu um yeah i'm just i'm so happy with this this snake I'm gonna let darren know i got him and he got here safe and uh thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i know this video is going to end up coming out probably in November. I got him second week of October, October 7th. Or is it the 8th today? I think it's the 8th. No, it's the 7th. Okay. So got him on the 7th of October. Couldn't be happier. And of course, by the time you guys are watching this, the next week is probably going to be the comparison video because or maybe even in December, just to make sure he has a full quarantine and everything like that. But I'm just so stoked. But thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.